What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we're doing another guess the team. I've done guess the team before, you guys loved it. I've done guess the player before, you guys liked that one as well. But there's a twist, this is not on the offense. With offense for guess the team, it's a little bit easy to just see the quarterback or see the running back and see in their college and be like, yeah, that's definitely that guy. Like how many Cal quarterbacks can- Hey, future editing Bengal here. Uh, this guy's not saying anything important. Just remember to use code SeaKeek on Bengal to save yourself $20 when you buy tickets for anything. All right, get back to the video. Just realized I said uh, code SeatGeek on Bengal. That's not what I mean. Code Bengal on SeatGeek. Jesus. It's not having quarterback available to you. The options are so slim. However, on the defensive side of the ball, it's a little bit of a different story. So we're doing guests of the team. We're doing defense. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And big shout out to Anna for making these graphics. I think they look really, really good. If you guys know Giraffe Neck Mark, Mark's girlfriend made these and they look incredible. He didn't shout her out, but I will. I think it's important to uh, give credit where credit is due. Also, I wanna make a point. This is not a race. This is not a race. So I could come down in here and I could look at it and be like, boom, I know the team immediately. However, I don't really think that makes for a great video. Some people will like that. I totally understand that. And I can get the appeal to some degree, but we're gonna really talk through this, think about who it could be. I'm not gonna try and come up with it in five seconds. I think that ruins the guessing aspect for some of you guys at home. If I just say exactly who the team is in five seconds, I don't think that makes for a great video. That's just my you know, personal opinion and uh, it's my channel, so. That's how we're gonna go ahead and do this. But let's go ahead and get into Guess the Team, a long enough intro. This has been on the screen for a while. And I think this one is fairly straightforward. We see Virginia Tech, middle linebacker, a TCU left defensive end were the two that stood out to me immediately. Iowa safety, free safety, Oregon State Beaver strong safety, the LSU corners huge. This is gonna be the Buffalo Bills. We have Jerry Hughes at left defensive end, even though it's on the opposite side of the screen. It would be, it should be RDE and then LDE on the other side. But I think Jerry Hughes does play right end. Troy is Mario Addison, I want to say. That's definitely Troy. Well, I don't know if it's definitely Troy. I think it is Troy. Mario Addison's there now. I think AJ Epineza would have been in there as well. The UHD tackle stands out a bunch as Ed Oliver. The Virginia Tech middle linebacker's gotta be Tremaine Edmonds. Tredavious White in there at LSU corner. We have Micah Hyde at free safety. We have Jordan Poyer at strong safety. And then the CB2's gotta be Levi Wallace, right? For Alabama, the former walk-on. So I think despite, is Matt Milano, is he BC? I can't, I feel like he is. I don't know who the Iowa State outside linebacker is offhand, but we will hopefully get this one right. I think it's gotta be the Buffalo Bills. And it is the Buffalo Bills. I haven't seen any of these, so um, it just opened up the Google Drive and loaded in the first one. So people are always gonna think I'm cheating. It's kind of whatever. But uh, let's move on to team number two. What is that middle linebacker? Uh, I have no idea what that is. Could that be the Arkansas State Red Wolves? Who's a middle linebacker from Arkansas State? I don't know. Idaho Vandals outside linebacker. LSU outside linebacker. This is a weird team. Okay, their secondary is completely Ohio State pretty much. Who is that? How, who has an all Ohio State secondary? You have, I don't know, the Saints? I had Marsha and Lattimore. Is Von Bell even there anymore? UTSA, right defensive end? I think it has to be the Saints. Cal left end. Again, it, it is backwards here, but we get the idea. Um, or it is flipped, I should say. I think Cameron Jordan did go to Cal. Marcus Davenport, UTSA. There are very few UTSA defensive ends in the league. There are very few UTSA players in the league. I was almost going to say... Aaron Jones, but Aaron Jones went to UTEP, the running back for the Packers. So I think it's got to be the Saints, right? Did Demario Davis, is that their middle? Well, I mean, it is their middle linebacker, but 
he go to, is that Arkansas State? I don't know where Demario Davis went to school. Idaho Vandals, I don't know. LSU outside linebacker. Uh, Marcus Williams is their free safety, by the way, Utah. This is definitely the Saints. I need to look up their depth chart after this. And it is indeed the New Orleans Saints. Because that linebacking core is completely foreign to me. Like when I think of linebackers for the Saints, I think Zach Bond, Demario Davis, and I guess Quan Alexander's on the Saints now. Is that who that is at outside linebacker? Quan Alexander, Caden Ellis. Who in the hell is Caden Ellis? 2019 seventh round pick, no disrespect. I'm sure he's a stud uh, with zero career anything. I'm shocked that Zach Bond is not listed as the starter at strong side. That is shocking. And where is a... Uh, is he on IR? Where is Pete Warner? I figured that he would have been listed at maybe weak side line. Oh, there he is, Pete Warner. Demario Davis definitely should have given it away. Yeah, I guess I just didn't know that Demario Davis went to Arkansas State. Kind of a hard one for a second, but we figured it out. This one, very interesting secondary. The SEC ACC combo on each side. Florida free safety. Thinking of Marcus May, if he's listed at free safety. Who else? Who else is a Florida safety actively? I don't know. UK CB1. University of Kentucky. The only corner I can think of is the one that was in the most recent draft, which is Kelvin Joseph. Who, and this is not him, because you'd see... First of all, he's definitely not a starter for the Cowboys. And you'd see Alabama on the other side for Trayvon Diggs. He's not there. We have a Memphis right defensive end. Another 4-3 team. Louisville D-tackle. That could be Sheldon Rankins. Oh, the Virginia CB2 is definitely Bryce Hall. Yeah, that's what team this is. We have, we have Marcus May over the top. Who is their Miami strong safety? I'm sure I got to know. But I guess I was thinking that they would have Marcus May at, at strong safety and then Ashton Davis at free safety, who's Cal. We have Bryce Hall. Who's their CB1 even? Is that Bless Austin? Did he go to Kentucky? I have no idea. Stephen F. Austin, left end. Uh, and then we have Quinton Williams, CJ Mosley. The Auburn outside linebacker is, I don't know. <laughs> And then is that going to be Hampson to Cyril D in the rookie? How weird is this Jets defense going to be? I'm going to say Jets though. And it is the Jets. Okay, I thought it might have been him. Jamie and Sherwood. I think he was their sixth round pick this year. Fifth round pick. They have Jamie and Sherwood who played safety. They're going to play him at linebacker. They have two safeties playing linebacker. But Blake Cashman, I guess, is on IR. And Sheldrick Redwine is the Miami safety because LaMarcus Joyner's hurt. And where is Ashton Davis? On IR as well. So this roster is kind of looking a little bit weird. And Brandon Eccles? Is Bless Austin even on this team anymore? Jeez, this Jets defense is a disaster. Next up, we have a Boston College free safety. I think I already know because of that. Alabama strong safety. Things are lining up. We have a Texas A&M left defensive end. Huh, I mean, that makes sense, except he plays left outside linebacker and not left defensive end. Again, it's flipped. South Carolina right defensive end would be NC State. Maybe this isn't the team, because with this team, I would have expected to see an Iowa linebacker. Ohio State CB1. Wait a second. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm getting I'm getting like confused here. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you out loud my thought process now. I thought for sure this was the Broncos, and now things are not adding up because Justin Simmons, Kareem Jackson, right, and then Alabama outside linebacker doesn't really make sense. I don't know who BYU would be on on the Broncos. I would have expected to see Josie Jewell or. AJ Johnson, and I'm not seeing. Does he go by AJ or Alexander? I always forget. Um, it's same guy, so it, you know it makes sense. But 
no Tennessee, no Iowa, but you have <laughs> you have Justin Simmons, Kareem Jackson, Von Miller. Again, this is flipped, so that would make sense. But the rest of the team doesn't add up. Who else is a Texas A&M defensive end? Miles Garrett? South Carolina would make sense for Genevieve Clowney. Alabama outside linebacker could be Mac Wilson. Anthony Walker Jr. at middle linebacker. Who's a BYU outside linebacker for, uh, for the Browns? Also, what's their secondary? BC? Who's a Boston College free safety? And Alabama? Because I would have expected to see, like... I would have expected to see John Johnson or Grant Delpit. CBs are weird, because that could be Denzel Ward and Greg Newsom, their first-round pick this past year. USC D-tackle and Michigan State D-tackle. They brought in Malik McDowell, the Browns did. Oh, I'm so confused at this one. It's the Browns or the Broncos. It's one of these BRO teams. And I think with injuries, I'm just really being thrown off here. Who would the Browns safeties be? I know John Johnson's there. And he did not go to Alabama, to my recollection. Who would be their free safety? I'm going to... Uh, it looks so Broncos, but Broncos doesn't quite add up. Browns doesn't even quite add up. I'm going to 50-50 it. I'm going to say... I'm going to say it's a 4-3 team. I, I, don't, I, I hope 4-3 and 3-4 are going to be set up. We haven't seen a 3-4 team yet. If this is if this is the Broncos, I'm going to be upset. I'm going Browns because of the 4-3. And it is the Browns. That was weird. Okay, I need to... Uh, I need to figure this out. Let me slide this over so you guys can see it. Malik Jackson starts for them. Okay. That's someone I completely forgot about. Sione Taki Taki's BYU. Ronnie Harrison's with the Browns now. That's right. And then John Johnson is the Boston College safety. I just, I didn't picture him at free safety at all. We got to it in the end. I guess I could, forgetting that John Johnson was Boston College was tough. I, I didn't know that he went there, but we got it anyway. Next up, Stanford free safety, Minnesota strong safety. We have corners from Florida and Oregon, Illinois left end, Georgia right end, North, uh, not North, uh, Nebraska D tackle, very few of those, Florida State other D tackle. Hmm. I almost thought for a second that this was the Bucks, but the Bucks does not add up because the corners would be different. We would see Sean Murphy bunting. Well, maybe we actually wouldn't. I mean, would he be listed at CB one or I mean, excuse me, CB two? He's he where where he go? Where he go? He was Central Michigan. CB1 would be Carlton Davis. Does not Florida or Oregon. And Jamel Dean from Auburn would, would also be on there. So this can't be the Bucks. But I thought so with maybe Antoine Winfield at safety, even though he's not a strong safety. And and Dominican Sue at left defensive tackle. Vanderbilt outside linebacker, Iowa middle linebacker. I'm actually struggling with this one. It's not the Lions, Packers, Bears. Or the Vikings. AFC North. I know I'm going so slow with this. I'll probably speed it up or cut it out. But I'm I'm coming up with this. I know I'm taking super long. There should be a time limit or something. But um, this one's genuinely stumping me. But I am going to figure it out. Okay, so I've thought about this for a long time. And I've come up that uh, I have no idea who this is. I have no idea. Like I thought the Jaguars checked some boxes. But even though they do check some boxes... They're missing a lot. It's not the Jaguars. I have no idea who this is. 4-3 defense from these. I have no idea. The Texans. Okay, that's why. The Texans have like 
no notable players. <laughs> oh, I thought about this forever. I got to the AFC South last, and when I was thinking about the Texans, I'm like, do the corners match up? And I'm like, I don't think so. And I'm like, we'd see Desmond King, who went to Iowa, right? Right? Yeah. And I didn't see Iowa anywhere except for middle linebacker. I'm like, Desmond King is not playing middle linebacker. So we'll look at the depth chart and see if that was like, ah, I just missed it. Or if there's some notable guys out where like the graphic isn't quite correct because I thought about this for a while. And I'm like, Desmond King was the big one for me of why this can't be the Texans, but yeah, I get it, I guess. Desmond King currently not listed as a starter. Instead, they're going with Vernon Hargraves and Terrence Mitchell. Mitchell. I guess it makes sense because Desmond King's a slot. I thought he would be listed at safety. Justin Reed's back out there. It's just a bad team. Warranted miss. Just a, a tough, tough one to get. All right, let's bang one out quickly then. A Samford safety? Oh, you already know. You know how many Samford players there are in the league? I think two. One of them plays corner for the Giants. The other one is Jaquaski Tart, who I, every time I mention his name, I have to go into a rant and a ramble about how it's spelled Jaquiski, and he's like, it's Jaquaski, which I'll never understand. So I kind of spoiled who this one is pretty quickly. Northern Illinois free safety, Jimmy Ward, Tennessee corner, Oregon corner. Also, hey, this reminded me of uh, Jason Vrett going down with another ACL tear. Just brutal, man. Jason Vrett was a really, really fun player at TCU, which is not on here. But you gotta feel for him, man. That's very, very tough. But on the D-line, we see Nick Bosa. We see Fred Warner at Mike Linebacker. This is no other team but the 49ers. I mean, Javon Kinlaw, Eric Armstead at left defensive end. This is the 49ers. Feels good to get back in the win column, I'm not gonna lie. The Texans one threw me for such a loop. I didn't expect to get any wrong in this video or not come up with any. I know I'm not gonna get one wrong. I'm just gonna throw a guess out there. The Texans so wholeheartedly stump me, it's ridiculous. Okay, this is a weird team. It's a 3-4 team, and I know who it is. Okay. So the reason I thought it was weird is because of the Wyoming nose, and I honestly don't know what the left defensive end team is. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'll tell you, I know the outside linebackers, and I know the corners, and I know the safeties. We talked about this a little bit earlier, and hmm, what do you know? A Tennessee and an Iowa inside linebacker combo. I wonder who that could be. Yeah, I might as well just say who this is already. We have Kyle Fuller at CB1. No Bryce Callahan on here because he's a slot. Patrick Sertan at CB2. We have Von Miller and Bradley Chubb at the outside linebacker spots. Josie Jewell and AJ Johnson up the middle. And then Justin Simmons and Kareem Jackson on the back end. This is the Denver Broncos and it's nobody else. Boom. Yeah, I mean, it had to be. Shelby Harris. I guess is whatever that weird school is that I can't come up with it. It's not quite the Louisville logo. Is that like, it's, I don't think it's Miami of Ohio. I think it's somewhere around there though. Does that make sense? Illinois State. Count. <laughs> Mike Purcell is Wyoming. I couldn't have told you that. Next up, ooh, Texas. I gotta get this. Texas inside linebacker though. Who is that? Texas have had like no good at off ball linebackers since Derek Johnson. Unless I'm missing someone. Oh, Jordan Hicks. Jordan Hicks exists. Okay, Jordan Hicks was great. Let's see. Washington CB1 and Washington free safety. We got a UW secondary. We got a Washington State strong safety. What is this team? Syracuse outside linebacker. It's a 3 4 front. We have a. We have an LSU nose, Wisconsin left defensive end, Mizzou outside linebacker. What a what a weird team this is. Just because I like I it's not jumping out to me immediately, which I feel like it should, right? Is this Philadelphia? It's just wherever Jordan Hicks is now, I think, right? Uh, I don't even know the Eagles, dude. I think Brandon Graham 
I mean, they're not a 3-4. Unless under Nick Sirianni, they're a 3-4 now. Who would that be, though? I, I, I think... Oh, it's uh, it's the Cardinals. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I was being weird about that. Yeah, Jordan Hicks has been on the Cardinals for maybe four years now, and I'm like, ah, he's still on the Eagles. No, he's been on the he's been on the Cardinals for at least three years, I would say. Wisconsin D end, JJ Watt. We have Chandler Jones out there. We have Jordan Hicks, who I talked about. Clemson inside linebacker is Isaiah Simmons. Their team actually looks a little bit different than this because you'd see Tulsa with Zayvon Collins, who absolutely starts. And then, of course, Buda Baker in the secondary. So, yeah, I mean, am I overthinking this? It's got to be the Cardinals, right? That's a 3-4 team. Everything feels like it checks out. And it is the Cardinals. Wow, two Georgia middle linebackers. Oh, I wonder who that could be. A Buffalo outside linebacker in a 3-4. Pretty confident about that one. What is the right defensive end college? Honestly, what are what are most of these logos? We got a Georgia Southern CB2. But yeah, I know who this is. Uh, not a whole lot of Buffalo outside linebackers in the league. The only one I can think of other than that player, is actually on his former team. Malcolm Kuntz, who was drafted by the Raiders in the second round this past year. I would think this has to be the Bears. Eddie Jackson, free safety. Roquan Smith, an inside linebacker. Khalil Mack, outside linebacker. Their D-line, we have Akeem Hicks, who's one of those schools. Eddie Goldman's their nose tackle. I don't even know what, what the what the schools are the roadrunners and i don't know <laughs> i have no idea jalen johnson at cb1 though yeah this is definitely the bears but i need to brush up on who the ends are like i know akeem hicks of course but i don't know the the schools i'm saying but yeah this is the bears the bears okay akeem hicks is regina in canada which i think is what saskatchewan City in Saskatchewan, Canada. Excellent. Regina, but rather Regina. <laughs> Regina, the capital of the, the Saskatchewan capital. province of Canada. All right, so it is Regina. I was right. Okay. Do not say Regina, but rather Regina. Next team, we got a Texas free safety. UH outside linebacker. Already a weird team. What is the logo for the nose tackle? That looks sick. I have no idea. But we got some big schools here. Ohio State, LSU, Alabama, twice. We got the U. What is this team? It's a 3-4. Pass rushers from Georgia and UH. Already, I, I don't know this one. Unless, is this the Falcons? No. Is this the Cowboys? No. Who has Alabama corners? Like, everybody. <laughs> what team is this? Ah, you know who this is? This is the Baltimore Ravens. It's got to be Calais Campbell at right defensive end. It's got to be Deshaun Elliott at free safety. I'm like, how many Texas safeties are actively starting in the NFL? It's not 2010. It's not a lot of them. Like, Michael Huff doesn't play anymore. Earl Thomas doesn't play anymore. Michael Griffin doesn't play anymore. Who could this be? You know, so I think it's got to be Deshaun Elliott. And the UH outside linebackers, Tyus Bowser. The corners, Marlon Humphrey. And who's the other Alabama corner on that team? I don't think Tavon Young went to Alabama. Who am I missing? I don't know. Um, the linebackers make sense, add up. Yeah, so I just think this has to be the Baltimore Ravens. Don't really see another way around that. And it is the Baltimore Ravens. I need to find out who the other Alabama corner is because I'm going to go insane. Anthony Averett is a starter? Because <laughs> Marcus Peters is on IR. Otherwise, you would see 
uh, Marcus Peters in there or Jimmy Smith even, but he was injured. So Anthony Averett listed as a starter. I'll be honest, that confused me a little bit. Justin Houston is in there now, of course. But yeah, Malik Harrison, Patrick Queen, I think also kind of gave it away. All right, we got a pit free safety, Minnesota strong safety. We got a USF outside linebacker. I think things are starting to add up. There's Nebraska represented twice. I know what team it is. You know, I actually, I guess I didn't think this team was a 3-4. I thought they were a 4-3, but I, like, I knew that, that their Washington nose tackle was a nose tackle because he plays nose. Now, I knew this team was a 3-4. I don't know what I'm talking about because like their left outside linebacker on this screen is uh, pretty obvious for Colorado State. Colorado, what did I say like that? Colorado State, the two Auburn corners, pretty obvious. We talked about it earlier. Like you would have seen Central Michigan there, but they're listing Jamel Dean as a starter because I think probably at this point, Sean Murphy Bunting is going to be out for a while. We have Antoine Winfield Jr. in there, but yeah, it's Jamel Dean, Carlton Davis, Jason Pierre Paul's the USF outside linebacker. Nebraska inside backer is Levante David. I also knew that Devin White played inside linebacker. I don't know why I thought this was a 4-3, but only in this video. I, it's clearly a 3-4 team. Shaq Barrett, Ndamukong Sue, and then of course, like Vita Vea. This is definitely the Bucks, And it is the Bucks. I'm not sure how many teams we have left. We gotta be coming up near the end of the video here. We have a UCLA nose tackle and inside linebacker. We have a Kentucky outside linebacker. Again, I already talked about some parts of this team when I was trying to come up with who the Texans were. We have a Louisville CB1. Wait a second, am I, did I just, oh. Wow, interesting parallels. I almost threw my, myself off completely. Wait. Oh man, I'm in between two right now. Hold on, hold on, let's figure this out. I'll tell you, I, was in, I thought this was the Jaguars for sure with Josh Allen outside linebacker and then inside linebacker would be Miles Jack. I'm like, oh, this has got to be the Jaguars. And now it's definitely not the Jaguars. The Louisville corner really put in a perspective for me, but I saw Washington CB2 and I'm like, oh, Sidney Jones, even though he's not there anymore. This is definitely, and pause the video if you don't want me to tell you who it is. This is definitely the Packers. We get Darius Smith is the Kentucky outside linebacker. The Washington CB2 is Kevin King, yikes. Louisville corner is Jair Alexander. Man, I was almost thrown off big time. Kenny Clark is the UCLA nose tackle. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised not to see Michigan on here for Sean Gary, but Darnell Savage at free safety. I think it's gotta be the Packers. I think it's gotta be too many parallels for it to be any other team. And it is the Green Bay Packers. Although, let me tell you, there are there are some combos there with the with the Jags for sure. That's right, Preston Smith. There's no way Preston Smith is getting more playing time than Rashawn Gary. I don't care if ESPN's calling him the starter. Rashawn Gary's got to be playing more, right? Recorded nothing in Week One. Really, is Preston Smith actually getting more play time? than Rashawn Gary. That feels not good. Oh, and that was the last one. So that's gonna do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how many you got in the comments section below. I think there were 12 in here, which means we went 11 for 12. Obviously would have wanted to do 12 for 12. The Texans was just too weird for me there. Like, I think I froze up on, who was it? Scroll back in here. Who would I freeze up on? Like. Vanderbilt outside linebacker Zach Cunningham, but I, I would have had him at middle linebacker in my head. And then, yeah, no Desmond King. I should have thought about Justin Reed. I just didn't think about him. And honestly, I just wasn't familiar enough with the Texans' week one starters and where they went to college. The corners really threw it off for me. I just really expected to see Desmond King there even though like technically he's not those positions. He's a slot corner. I should have just thrown that away. Vernon Hargraves forgot about. 
I guess Bradley Roby's not on the team anymore, and I was kind of expecting to see Ohio State, but he's not on the team. So, yeah, uh, the Texans was the only one that really threw me for a loop. I still don't know their defensive line, and I'm looking at it. So, <laughs> let me know how you did down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. It's insane. I hit it at the park. Ben Bones. See me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Playing with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train's coming through. Yeah. Promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah. Hey. I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud. Speed burst good.